Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nor Muhammad from Any Watch, and we are back with the full review of the watch that I've borrowed from my buddy Mr. Nadri. So basically, he <laughs> he lent me this watch so that uh, I can uh, re I can replace the batteries, and and I've done that, and I've also replaced the gasket for this particular watch because it is, yeah, uh, I think it's it's been damaged during the previous battery change, right? So um, let's do before we even go even further, let's do a dimension check so this is a quite a big chunky watch i think so this is about um let's just measure from here to here <coughs> Ooh, sorry about that guys uh, i have a little bit of durian to eat <laughs> just <laughs> this morning 43.6 millimeters in diameter and a thickness of about um 11.4 and also the luck to luck oh my god luck to luck of about 48 let's call it 49 millimeters and a luck width of 22 millimeters right so and uh, size up for my body 6.5 inch wrist or 16 centimeters wrist so this one weighs at about 151 grams right so quite a heavy chunky watch although this is a a chronograph battery operated movement right so let's just see if it has any sapphire crystal no it doesn't so yeah normally Seiko uses the uh, that hard light crystal so that is why you can see a little bit of scratches here in there on this particular crystal right so yeah I think there is a little bit of hair and scratches but you know what that's just just you know um, <laughs> the user uh, experience right so let's check out the uh before we go into the very very busy uh, let's just check out the case finishing so brush finishing on top so brush finishing on this side so it somehow the case looks like a seiko samurai case right so yeah around that size and but there is a uh, this um <laughs> what do you call this polish finishing on the side and check out that rubberized um what do you call this uh, bezel right yeah of course this is a fixed bezel but what do we call this? <laughs> this is the mid case end, but this is this rubber rubber thingy. So it doesn't really serve any purpose other than, you know, aesthetic. But yeah, it looks cool nonetheless, right? So um, the bracelet is featuring this uh, brush finishing on the top, and we have this um, polish middling, which is you know, quite unique. So I've never seen this uh, this uh, movement, uh, this style of uh, bracelet before. Oh, before I completely forgot the model number for this particular piece is Seiko Chronograph Quartz Tachymeter SNN181P1, right? So very, very rare. I'm not really sure the, the when it was made, but yeah, still maybe around 2000 or maybe around 2010. But yeah, it features this um, stamp class with this just to micro adjust here. So maybe I can just move it move it a bit so that it could fit my wrist right so the a there's a stamp say cool um class here quite short and i think i think this is a solid solid uh links but this um end links are you know uh hollow ending right so at the back we have that uh, say cool uh, brush circular brush uh uh, case back uh, water resistance 100 bar so that is maybe the movement number 7194 uh, DAY0 right so and yeah that's that right so uh, the dial let's go to the dial so very very interesting looking dial here right so we have these two register on the 12 o'clock on the on the 6 o'clock the 6 o'clock is featuring this uh, second hands and also the uh, 12 o'clock is ha we have a 60 minutes counter right so and at the nine o'clock we have this big <laughs> um date wheel here so you can see if, uh, up to five days <laughs> but i don't really need to know five days <laughs> in total but yeah still it is what it is right so you push the port top pusher and the chronograph hands will move so this is not a maker quartz guys so let's just uh, leave it at that and see how it you know reverse how it resets when uh, we stop the timing later on all right so we have this quite a nice a simple um hour hands here and a minute hands here i think those are filled with super luminova and check out that dial so that dial is basically i don't know what to call this uh, maybe a gray a dark gray dial right so dark gray dial 
with a dark gray bezel here so you can see i think it is iron plated so i iron plated so or maybe dlc coating i'm not really sure we have this tachymeter writing here and you guys know <laughs> we don't really use this uh, tachymeter nowadays right so unless unless you are a racer and you use that a lot right so anyway so this thing looks cool right so uh, the pushers here is a simple yeah like a what do, call, what do you call this piston style we have this uh rubber ring inside there and also we have a rubber ring on the crown as well right so the crown is quite an easy thing to use so it is also polished and again the pusher at the bottom is polished right so yeah let's just uh, try to put it on the wrist oh from this side check out that rubber rubber thingy <laughs> all right so let's before we do that let's do a quick wristwatch check today i am wearing my san martin sm0052 a mechanical hand wind uh, chronograph watch and of course this is an homage to the ever popular um to the black bay chronograph right so let's just take it off and of course i've paired it with this awesome boon strap from vario singapore thank you very much ivan for sponsoring the breast so the straps right so let's just see if it fits my my wrist um just i can just I can just get away with it. It's very, very tight, but yeah, still, this is how a 43 millimeters uh, diameter watch looks on my skinny wrist. So, yeah, quite snug fit there, but yeah, still not too bad, guys. Not too bad, right? So, this is how it looks. And let's just check uh, the loom, right? Oh, before we do this, let's just uh, check out the uh, chronograph function first. Let's stop the movement. And you see, we stop at um, two minutes, right? So, I've two minutes and how many seconds here two minutes and ooh, two minutes and one two three <laughs> twelve twelve seconds right? two minutes and twelve twelve two minutes and twelve point five seconds right so yeah let's just reset and it turns around like that so very very cool okay so let's just charge the loom for both of these watches and see who is uh, the winner here right so let's take my uh, uv torch here and see how are the looms on this particular in this watch is performed so are you guys ready three two one and boom we have got a winner here right so <laughs> definitely the um what do you call this uh, c3 super luminova on the san martin is i think glow quite bright here but you know what seiko produce a good loom as well so this one is using the um seiko looming bright so yeah of course this is not a diverse watch so yeah it's why if, if it doesn't last that long so it's not really that it's, it's fault but yeah still both are chronograph and both perform very very good in the dark all right so let's just switch on the light and do some wrap up okay so i don't think this watch is available to purchase anymore so i've just checked uh, at the um, creation create creation watches.com uh, website just now so it is sold out so maybe this one i think more than 10 years already so i my buddy bought it for you know for some I, some event i don't really remember but they're still a awesome looking chronograph if you don't mind changing out <laughs> the batteries every now and then right so and yeah definitely um the most unique feature is that rubberized uh, bezel there but <laughs> yeah I, it, everything is just for you know aesthetic purpose so i don't really see you know, for me at least i don't really see any you know any urge to get this type of i mean super busy that right so there we have it guys my simple and quick review of this uh awesome seiko chronograph if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye